and challenging the hometown favorite for Team Fire. He's sitting on cloud nine with two wins under his belt and looking for more. It's Impact! All right, gentlemen, good luck and have fun. <laughs> Thanks for uh, some uh, really insane intros, Dash. Hopefully his Do we need to voice... start it out down here because we have a long day of 1v1s ahead of yeah, us. Yeah, I right? really hope his voice keeps up because this is like day one or, or game one of the quarterfinals. We're going to semis and then I think the finals is even a best off match. Yep. So if he keeps going like that, he's going to blow out his voice. Yeah, we'll keep track of how big that vein on his neck does get. <laughs> Just adjusting my levels here. Uh, the play-by-play -play from the oh, it's a little, the mode is just like way up. I hear my voice just blasting in my ears. I'm like, that was <laughs> Trevor. All right, Kobe is now joining me. So I've uh, made an Elo upgrade for the final day of the one v ones. We're getting ready <laughs> for our first match, which will be Xpeke versus Impact. Kobe, what's your take so far? Uh, I really am enjoying the people that are bringing the style to these yeah. matches. Right, Mata definitely jumps out in everybody's mind. Dude, taking down top names over and over on the Yasuo. I hope that XPK has something because he was one of my favorites yesterday. He, he really made me enjoy the All-Star games. Something like a Garen pick, you know, it's, that's not all you have to do. You don't just pick Garen and no, it's a great a game. Kill. You have to pick Garen and do well, right? It's way different story if you pick Garen and you just get blasted in the game. <laughs> but you know, get that double kill, kill Faker, like those types of plays. Especially when you kind of come into the tournament and everybody's like, oh boy, I hope Pekka is not washed up. I yeah, hope yeah. he does well. First game on the Ari as well. Gets a really good flank, goes in. He's still in that 1v1 tournament when the likes of Bjergs is knocked out, double lift is knocked out. So he's carrying the hopes here for Team Ice. And honestly, you can see what he picks up right now. Two mages banned out and a Darius. So yeah. the easy mode champs are off the grid for Pekka. Only, uh, only one AD carry ban here with the uh, Caitlyn. So plenty of those left up. Those are some of the less exciting ones for me. You know, also for Xpeke, he may get exactly. flashbacks to like the summer <laughs> season. <laughs> what are you talking about? Every time I talk to him, he's like, yeah, I love playing AD carry. I uh, completely enjoy the role. Ergot oh. does qualify. Remember, guys, if you're just tuning in, they have a giant screen next to each other, and they can look at the at the screen. This is where Reckless failed. It's like, yeah, I didn't expect the enemy to pick LeBlanc. I'm like, dude, it was locked in 30 <laughs> seconds ahead of time. I mean, look at the monitor. Right, we keep saying that, but very rarely, actually. Some A lot of the players haven't been looking over, so, you know, it's kind of instilled in you as a young gamer. Screen watching is uh, no, no, okay. yeah, that's taboo. So a lot of these guys playing with honor. But... Honor doesn't get you anything if you lose. <laughs> exactly. No Gotta do them dirty, man. People don't remember you for your honor if you went out in round one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Cassiopeia versus Yasuo. That's a, a really fun matchup, but I think it might be... It's really hard to judge. I think a level two or three, the Yasuo has a window, but if the Cassio just keeps pushing, it's going to be really hard for the Yasuo to kind of get out of that gridlock. Yeah, for me, I mean, the Yasuo, it just... There's so much variance in any Yasuo play, right? Yep. It can be so good. You've got the Mada up here, <laughs> and then you on the, the bottom, Kobe you've got here. me down there. Exactly. You know exactly where I was going with that one. But the wind wall, you know, that could be crucial, especially since Cassiopeia Ultimate does have a pretty long cast time, uh, and there's no flashes in the 1v1 mode, right? Nobody's going to take that summoner nope. just to cancel half of an, of an animation. So uh, it will be that full animation. You have time to react. Also, the mobility, if you if your wind wall's on cooldown, you can still juke that ultimate by just like dashing to a crease backwards. Exactly. You take the damage, but you won't get petrified. The skill shit accuracy for a Cassiopeia has to be so... It's like whack-a-mole on steroids. Uh -huh. when you're playing versus the Yasuo that's going left, right, up, and down in that wind wall. Plus, uh, you know, every time we've seen one of these guys take a champion that does like to build tier, uh, there have been a lot of questions around that. I like Xpeke's, you know, solution with the catalyst as well, you know, with the rework passive there, gaining health uh, for burning mana, and then, oh, you're laughing at the runes already? Yep. There's scaling health <laughs> on impact. <laughs> he's running health at level 18, so he's running scaling health yellows. I think that must have been a misclick. Well, they break even at level 6, so if he's planning on farming that late... Yeah, yeah okay, but that's before the items kick came. Just quick, uh, if you're a Yasuo 1v1 main, you want to run 18012 <laughs> according to Impact, and that's in line with what we've seen before, you know, offense plus Warlords, and then obviously valuing the defensive options in that resolve tree. Peke breaking the Yasuo shield there with the auto, then going back in for a little bit of an extra trade. Yeah. Impact, though, coming out ahead. I definitely want to position as aggressively as you can to start whacking out that wave, because Xpeke has AoE, but Yasuo wants that level 2 power spike. Also, you want to start trading with Xpeke as early as possible, right? Yeah. His level 1 e doesn't do much nope. damage at all and a huge mana cost, so the efficiency builds up for these spellcasters, whereas right off the bat, you know, 
Yasuo doesn't have to burn anything to go for those trades. Yep, he just spams his Qs over and over, gets that focus up as well. Speke, we saw yesterday in the Casio matches as well, you will run out of mana when you try to all in early. So Cassiopeia is a champion in 1v1 that kind of spikes at 6 at the least once you have some items and some mana available. Yeah, I mean, just relying on Dorian's rings uh, and the execute there for the mana regen has been the plan. You know, he rushes back to get an early Dorian for his first purchase and then straight into something like that Catalyst or maybe the tier. Mm -hmm. In fact, dodging some of the damage that he's trying to, getting close to Xpeka here. They can miss some CS early on, but he's definitely looking for heavier trades. Yeah. He's the moment where they can go all in. I guess low. Late Ignite from Impact. Impact uh, down, though. It's absolutely crushed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a very sudden end, Grepo. Yes, uh, Cassiopeia wants to look for the level 6 power spike <laughs> before they go. And they fight. Already talking about third purchases of yeah. the catalyst there. Peke wastes no time. Level three, Impact decides to fight, and Peke comes out victorious. I'm just telling you, Kobe, scaling Hellfruits may not be the best if you're planning to go all in a level.